Thanks, Mrs. Grunberg. Governor Evers recently passed the Safer at Home order. This changes how all public schools operate. Instruction is now delivered to students via the internet. Well, thanks to the School District of Denmark and Chartwells, eight locations around Denmark, lunches are being delivered as well. Today we're doing pizza dippers and it comes with baking instructions so that your, your mom or your dad can help you um, prepare those. And other days we've served chicken patties. Yesterday was a cheeseburger. We've done uh, peanut butter and jelly. We've done fruit parfaits. I mean, it's everything that the kids are used to eating and it's portion controlled and it's perfect. Um, but, but everybody is so appreciative and they, and they say thank you and they leave with a smile. And you know, I am no hero. I'm no hero. We're loading the van. I got a call from Luke that said, will you do this? And I said, I'll be there. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. It's Mr. McPherson out here at the Ledgeview Town Hall with Sarah Wiltman and Anna Enns as we're getting ready to serve some lunches through the Denmark Schools Lunch Program. We are currently serving 500 lunches a day. 500! And there's breakfast too! Um, Sarah and I go to Ledgeview, Eaton, and the town of New Denmark. And about what time are you there each day? Um, Ledgeview, we are here from 1045 to 1115. And Eaton, we are there from 11.30 to 12, and New Denmark from 12.15 to 12.45. My reaction from the parents are giving me is total appreciation. Um, I've got grandmas that come and they pull up and all I gotta ask them is how many would you like? And they're actually delivering them to their grandchildren or um, family members are picking them up for their neighbors. So I might give a family you know, seven lunches, but they're they're going the extra mile and handing them out to people that can't leave their house because of small children or can't um, get around because of a disability. So it's awesome. It's a good feeling knowing that we are still serving the kids in the Denmark area with nutrition. And um, you know, it's a nice break. Some of these parents get in the car. They've been working on school stuff since eight o'clock. So they, they load up in the car and they come for a little fresh air um, there's absolutely no contact and they're, they, they smile and they say thanks and I say, you know what, have a great day, I'll see you tomorrow. And, and that's it. It's five seconds of a little interaction and it's, it's on with their day. So I really enjoy yeah. doing it. It's as easy as that. Well, it looks like there is such a thing as a free lunch in Denmark. Well, thank you to Mrs. Jody Berenger with the Denmark School District Lunch Program in Chartwells for writing grants and obtaining some funds to make lunches like this free for families in Denmark. Back to you, Mrs. Grunberg.